November is more often called Movember as many men are ditching the razors and they're growing out their facial hair to raise awareness for men's health issues. Actually on the Today Show, you can see the guys there, they're all growing out their facial hair to raise awareness. And this morning in an effort to raise awareness about why it's so important for men to have annual checkups and get tested, our Brandon Roth is live in Baldwinsville to tell us more about that. Good morning, Brandon. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Well, that's right. I'm with Dr. Timothy Trey Montana here at the Baldwinsville uh, Family Medical Center here in Baldwinsville getting a physical this morning. It is Men's Health Awareness Month, and I'll tell you, I got the physical uh, last half hour, and we found out my blood pressure was actually a little high, which is something, an issue that's come up my last couple of physicals. So that's something that's not uncommon with men as they start to get a little bit older, but it is, can be an early warning sign. It can be, yes. So again, uh, regular monitoring of blood pressure is important. Um, and uh, as uh, you know, we, we should treat it as early as possible if it is an issue, but yeah. um, you know, lifestyle changes are, are important too. The diet, exercise, maintaining yeah. a reasonable weight is important. And getting in to get a physical, a lot of guys like me hate coming in and getting their physical, but you really, it's men's health awareness, and this is where the first stage you can really cut off a lot of problems before they become more serious. Absolutely. So, you know, the most important thing is getting in here. So, um, a lot of men are dragging here, uh, kicking and screaming, but that's okay. We got to get you in here. And so, the earlier uh, we can treat things, uh, you know, the better the outcomes yeah. is, is the basic message. Yeah, and, it, you know, we were talking a lot about the prostate exams, and by the way, Unlike Matt Lauer, I will not be getting a prostate exam live on the air, but in all seriousness, a very serious issue, and it is not without controversy because PSA, elevated PSA levels, uh, mean different things to different people, it seems like. They do. It's a controversial area still, yeah. and uh, different organizations uh, make different recommendations. Mm -hmm. I think the most important take-home is going to be uh, talk to your doctor about the risks and the benefits, and you know, coming up with a decision as to what's right for you. Uh, but we know that, you know, uh, this year alone, uh, somewhere in the area of 230,000 men will be diagnosed and approximately 30,000 will die from the disease. Right. So it's still a significant, significant cause of, uh, of uh, illness and, and, and death. And then when we talk about heart disease, and then this is, a, we, we're wrapping it up now, but really quickly, uh, if you, someone like me that has a little bit of elevated blood pressure, it, there, there are things you can do. I think a lot of men don't like coming in to get their physical because they're afraid it's the end of the world. Right. But you can do simple things that can lower blood pressure and if your cholesterol is elevated as well. You can. Uh, yeah. You know, there are certain things that we can take control of. Uh, diet, uh, eating a low-fat, low-cholesterol diet, yeah. low in sodium uh, is important, plenty of fruits and vegetables, um, regular exercise, yeah. uh, and uh, maintaining a reasonable weight are, right. are things that you can control. There you go, Dr. Timothy Trey Montana here. And getting in and getting your physical, guys. That's, that's yeah, the key. That's, that's, that's the first step. That's most important. All right, so there you go, Men's Health Awareness. Here we are live this morning at the uh, Baldwinsville Family Medical Center in Baldwinsville. Brandon Roth for today in Central New York. Lisa? Brandon, thanks so much. Important health information this morning.